The Queen stepped out today in the quadrangle of Windsor Castle to celebrate her official birthday. For the second year in a row, Her Majesty cancelled the Trooping the Colour Parade in central London due to the ongoing pandemic. Most poignantly, this year was also the first Trooping the Colour she marked without her husband Prince Philip. The Duke of Edinburgh died on April 9 at the Royals' residence in Berkshire. Last year, Prince Philip did not stand by the Queen's side as she watched a streamlined ceremony in the quadrangle. But he was inside the castle and BBC commentator Hugh Edwards even suggested he may have been looking over the quadrangle from one of the castle's windows. Remembering the Duke would have turned 100 earlier this week, Mr Edwards said while commenting on today's parade, the spirit of the place has the imprint of the Duke. This is because Prince Philip not only loved the residents but hugely helped plan the renovation of the castle after the devastating fire in 1992. The stoic monarch watched proudly the splendid performance carried out in the quadrangle of her Berkshire castle. Unlike last year, the Queen was in the company of one family member, her cousin Prince Edward, Duke of Kent and Colonel of the Scots Guards. The Duke, wearing the Scots Guards uniform, sat next to the Queen under a marquee in the quadrangle. Her Majesty wore the same grey and lemon Angela Kelly coat and hat she also donned during the state opening of Parliament in May. The parade was led by the Foot Guards, and joined in the quadrangle by the King's Troop Royal Horse Artillery and the Household Cavalry Mounted Regiment. Among the soldiers taking part in the parade, there were those who have helped in the NHS COVID-19 response and those who have served in operations abroad. For the first time after 24 years, the F Company Scots Guards trooped the Queen's colour. Upon their arrival in the quadrangle, the Queen and the Duke were welcomed with the Royal Salute and the National Anthem. Music was played by a massed band of the Household Division, which includes the 1st Battalion Scots Guards Pipes and Drums. The Queen looked like she enjoyed the lively tunes, as she was spotted tapping her foot to the rhythm. The colour was then trooped through the ranks, and the parade concluded with a second royal salute. The Queen nodded approvingly to the soldiers during the salute. The splendid performance of the soldiers was topped only by the flypast of nine aircraft over Windsor, which left the Queen visibly delighted. Before leaving the quadrangle, the Queen spoke briefly with her cousin the Duke of Kent. Commenting on the little royal chat, Mr Edwards said, a broad smile which says it all, as the Queen has a little chat with the Duke of Kent, who is the Colonel of the Scots Guard, he must be very proud today. It give a fortune for a little eavesdropping there because she had a few things to say and she was making a point very forcefully. The Queen's birthday was also officially marked by the King's Troop Royal Horse Artillery, which fired a 41-gun salute from the East Lawn. There, last week the Queen watched the planting of a newly bred rose dedicated to the Duke of Edinburgh ahead of what would have been his 100th birthday. Trooping the colour has been marking the reigning monarch's official birthday for more than 260 years. It was first held during the reign of King George II. During the Queen's reign, which started on February 6, 1952, the colourful pageant was also cancelled in 1955 due to a national rail strike. The parade comes during a busy weekend for the Queen, whose birthday is on April 21. Yesterday, Her Majesty was in Cornwall to attend a reception hosted by Prime Minister Boris Johnson for senior royals and world leaders attending the G7 summit. 
During the reception, the Queen met for the first time U.S. President Joe Biden and the First Lady, Dr. Jill Biden. Mr. Biden is the 13th serving U.S. President to meet the Queen during her 69-year-long reign. The Queen returned from Cornwall overnight with the Royal Train, in time to attend this morning's celebrations. Tomorrow, the Queen will meet again Mr. and Dr. Biden. As announced by Buckingham Palace earlier this year, Her Majesty will host the presidential couple for tea at Windsor Castle. While in Windsor, Mr. Biden will also inspect the Guard of Honor in the castle's quadrangle.